Have you ever wanted to invest in art but didn't know how? Well, there are multiple ways to do that, and Art Funds is one of them. And we're gonna talk about that in this video. So like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and let's dive right in. Before we do that, let me introduce myself. Derek West for Finance Squared. In any case, you have most likely heard of ETFs, an index fund for investing in stock. There are similar funds available for investing in works of art as well. Much like when you invest in an ETF, depending on the amount you invest, you're purchasing fractional pieces of stocks issued by companies. In art funds, you're purchasing fractional portions of many different pieces of art. You don't actually take control of the art in the fund and that you aren't responsible for maintaining it or finding a buyer when the work has been sufficiently appreciated. So it makes it easy and fun for you, the investor. Now, the number of these types of funds is pretty small and they're hard to get into, but their popularity is sure to spike as people look for alternative ways to grow their wealth. And just like you can buy into stock indexed mutual funds or an index fund for short, you too can buy into an art indexed fund. Now, of course, like with anything else, there are some caveats to keep in mind. Just like art funds, these aren't all that popular right now. And because of that, the volume of transactions is quite low. So with low volume of transactions, expect minimal liquidity. And with that, you shouldn't expect to be able to buy in and out of these within days or even weeks. So if you invested in an art index and you really need the cash for some reason, you're not gonna be able to pull it out that quickly. So that's a big caveat. It's not uncommon for more popular and well-known pieces of art to be held for decades and even be passed down as a family heirloom. This time between transactions can lead to the prices for these various pieces to be, let's say, inaccurate. And art is a great way to diversify your portfolio because it's less correlated to stocks than other investment assets. That means that even if the stock market is experiencing a downturn, collectors' demand for art will likely stay high and prices will increase over time. Collectors may also view art as a hedge against a downturn in the stock market, which can encourage demand in a weak economy. Let us know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on this alternative investment vehicle. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.